Hey friends and resellers, it's Trish with Wells Horst coming at you with a Goodwill Outlet Bins Haul video. I know it's been a hot minute since I've posted a bins video. It's summer is here today. Actually, the day that I'm filming is the first day of summer and it's just been a crazy beginning. I went to Vegas for my birthday with my husband, um, getting my garden started for the year, getting our flooring installed. I just feel like I've had a lot going on. And my husband, I normally go to the bins on days I take him to the airport and his flights lately have been like at three o'clock in the morning or that when he needs to be at the airport, which is not conducive to going to the bins. So I have gone to just some regular thrift stores over the last two months, I think, month and a half since I've been at the bins maybe, um, so that I could just continue to keep some things going. I will say I didn't record it. Um, I picked up like five items in a, a regular old Goodwill one day, um, right off the new rack. I got a bucket list item for me for my bolo list for 2024. So I picked up three pair of mother jeans or mother denim. I know that people find mother left and right in their area. I just don't find it. They were um, a 31, I think, so a nice, not a super tiny size, but like a medium size. And they all sold, they had some light wear to them um, in the crotch area, nothing like all the way through, but just some wear. And um, each of them sold between 70 and $85, I think, so quickly. Um, and that is, they were not in $125 condition. They were cute styles. If they'd fit me, I would've kept them. But I was super excited to pick those up. I also found on the same rack that day, two Spell items, um, formerly Spell and the Gypsy, but they've made their name more appropriate, I guess. And so they're just now Spell. I found a skirt in a size extra large, maxi length skirt, beautiful skirt. Um, and I think I listed it for $175 based on comps. I was so shocked to find it. And right behind it on that rack was a brand new with tags spell midi length size extra large dress. It did just sell today for $200. I think I had it listed at $249. Um, it was, I had an offer to me on eBay for $200. The buyer is from Australia. So I am wondering if they will be um, taken aback maybe when they go to pay based on shipping and international costs, but hopefully that goes through. Otherwise I should be able to get at least $200 plus for that dress to, if I have to relist it. So that day I scored those items. They've, um, also, but the skirt, but I've had a lot of interest in the skirt. So anyway, I, that's what I've been doing is picking up higher priced items if I can find them at the bins. Um, and this is just, you know, a part-time job for me. My husband does work full-time. He's our full-time like family provider. And so I am able to take time off as needed to do things um, around the house and not feel like I have to get to the bins to get things to list. I still have plenty of stuff I'm looking at right now to list, but um, I had to take him to the airport this week. So it was at a time that worked for me. Okay, enough chatting. So, um, oh, also at this day at the bins, I walked in, went to the shoe bin, found a couple pair of shoes, which we'll get to. And then I looked over to where all the blue clothing bins, plastic bins normally are. And they were all cardboard boxes, these huge, ginormous, heavy duty corrugated cardboard boxes on a like pallet riser. So I am five foot eight and it, I, I could not reach the bottom of the box. Um, to get in there. I noticed that a lot of the petite ladies in there all were carrying a stool with them. I asked around, I guess it's been happening for like the last two weeks that they have switched this to this um, kind of model. I don't know if it's going to be forever. I know I heard some people saying they like it, some people saying they don't. I think if you can get in the bottom of those bins, you can find some gems because no one else can reach them. Um, which brings me to the next part is I was sitting there, I was hot for one thing, it's a warehouse, it's the south, it's been 90 something degrees and a million percent humidity, sweating in there. I also have rusty bitch face. I'm a very pleasant human being, but I have RBF, can't help it, especially if I'm hot and like searching through a bin. But I heard this really perky lady next to me talking and she's like, oh, hi Trish from Well Sourced. And I looked over and I was like, oh, hi. She, she watches my videos, she and her husband, Renee. Uh, thanks so much for talking to me. You are a hoot and a half, and your husband, I didn't catch his name, but very nice people, 
from Kentucky that had come down to go to the bins and thought they might bump into me there someday. They have had ama amazing luck. Um, she was telling me she found like Aviator Nation uh, and she found that day she found a bunch of new tags, like Free People Beach items, like 15 of them in the bottom of a bin which must have been donated by a department store. She is good luck. So I should have really just followed her around, but super nice lady. But I am, I appreciate anyone who approaches me, especially when I look like I'm kind of an angry human being, although I'm not. Um, so I appreciate it, Renee. Thanks so much for talking to me. And I've said it before when I, uh, I don't have the best like social skills when I'm like surprised like that. I'm just sort of like, oh, hi. And we talked for a few minutes before I even asked your name, which I have better social skills than that uh, when I'm not like surprised. So anyway, I've droned on for a few minutes. Let's get into this haul. This is from the Goodwill Outlet Bins in Nashville. There's two locations. I go to one preferable to me that's closer to my house. I pay $1.59 a pound. This is a men's Tommy Hilfiger size large jacket. That is the only reason I picked this up. It does have wool sleeves um, and collar and back area. It's a navy blue, it's linty. I did wash it, it had some marks on it. It is a quilted front here and it has um, buttons down, it buttons down, it has pockets. So, it, you know, it's a shacket, jackety kind of thing. Tommy Hilfiger does not sell well for me, but I really like the style of this. I think it's a nice piece. So, you know what? I grabbed it. Where am I going to put this pile? Okay, next up is the brand Morena Recovery. I think I've picked this up once before. Recovery items, like post-surgical items, are pretty expensive. Um, this is a size extra large, and it is a like legging, half legging situation. Um, oops. I am wondering now if they cut the legs off of this thing. No, it looks like not. But it does have like a place for you to um, pee and so that you don't have to take it off for recovery um, for either elective or non-elective surgeries. And it zips up the side. So the comps on these are pretty good. Um, this is in very good condition. It does not look like it was worn or used very much. And I did launder that, of course. <clears throat> This is um, Altered State, size large, extra large. It's just kind of an oversized hoodie, but it says Nashville on it. My husband and I technically don't live in Nashville, but we do love Nashville and we like going there. I just grabbed this for myself just to throw on. I love sweatshirts. Um, and so I grabbed it. If it doesn't work for me, I can list it. I'm not sure if someone if that was just like a Nashville shirt that Altered State put out across the nation, or if it was something they did specifically for this area. This is just a table runner in this like floral muted colors. I just got it because I like having tablecloths and table runners. It's for me. This is also for me, based on the cut, I think it's a women's jacket. It's a Columbia rain wind jacket. It's a size extra large. I will look up the style number, but it's just a navy blue raincoat. Um, I typically have always had one just sitting in my car. I don't know where that one went um, because we do get pretty substantial rain storms here. And so it's always nice to have in my car. So I thought I would toss that in there. Okay, this is just an acrylic blanket. It's super soft. It is. A vintage Sears tag. I bought this for myself. Um, I love blankets. No matter how warm it is outside, I like to have a little blankie. And this is super soft. I really like the colorway of it. So I did grab that for myself. I also had an afghan in, uh, like a crocheted afghan in my cart. And then it looked really good. But then I kind of noticed it had a few pills and I just didn't want to deal with it. So I put it back, but I hope someone picked it up. This is just a Walmart brand thermal for me. This is a set of placemats, cotton placemats made in India in this fun orange color. It looks like that one has a little bit of a mark on it. I might need to deal with. Um, I think it's a set of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, a set of six. And oops, I've got a dog under me. A pile under the pile of stuff here. Um, I'm just going to list those and 
placements are not cheap. Even like at TJ Maxx and Ross, they tend to be kind of expensive for what I feel like they are. These I just grabbed, they're um, pajamas. The brand is, where are you brand? Pajama Rama. This is a size small men, like green, white, and red striped uh, thermal waffle knit set. And then I just saw, saw in this, somebody got this for their family and either someone opted out or they got multiple sizes, but um, a boys, or I think it's just kids. Does it say boys? Unisex kids, size six set as well, matching set. So I'll sell them separately, but someone can get those for Christmas. They're lightweight. This is Uniglo, um, size medium. It does have a tiny hole in the back, but I wasn't super worried about that. I liked the print on it on the front. It is 100% merino wool. And um, if I could find where it says that, pure new wool. Maybe it doesn't say merino, but it is 100% wool. That's just going to go in my fabric box for someone to felt or do something with. So I grabbed that. This is a pair of Miss Me jeans. I just grab them. They're in good condition. They don't have super blingy pockets. They're size 20 in their boyfriend ankle. So they're not like a boot cut, but also a trendy style. Um, they have some distressing on the front. And so I just grabbed them. I don't really like lifting pants at all, but the pile of stuff I have the most of up here to my right where I keep my like to deal with inventory are uh, pants, the majority of them. This is Lulu's Lush. I'm not sure if that's a collab or they have a different line. This is a very short wrap style dress. The buttons do button, but it's asymmetrical. It's got an asymmetrical um, neck to it as well. It does have little ties to go in the back. It feels like a linen blend. It is lined. It's 45% linen, so it's cute, summery, little mini dress. Lulu's doesn't do great for me, but for some reason I just keep picking up. Again, this day, first day back of the bins in a hot minute. I don't feel like it was a great day for me. Renee was having a hot minute, hot day. Um, but like I was, it was warm and I was just kind of getting adjusted to digging through these massive bins and kind of the pacing that they had going on. Um, but I found a few good things. Okay. This is somewhere in here. Lauren Ralph Lauren um, cotton shirt blouse in a size medium. It is black. It's like a washed black floral print. Kind of romantic, ruffly collar, ruffle cuff, like a peplum ruffle bottom here with some um, embroidery at the bottom of this sort of scalloped trim on the bottom. So just a cute lightweight blouse. This was probably one of the better finds I had of the day. It was just laying on top of a bin. I thought it was gorgeous. The brand, and it may be missing a bead or two. That's just going to happen. But it's silk. 100% silk plus beading. It's black tie by Oleg Cassini. And it's a size 12. This one is made in China. I will need to look at their tags to see how old things are. But this is a gorgeous um, halter style, high ne neck, beaded silk dress that goes down gown length, floor length, heavily beaded. This thing weighs several pounds. It has a open back and goes down to a zipper. So, you know, there's like a loose bead here. There's probably gonna be some loose beads, but otherwise, I feel like this dress was gorgeous. It had one little mark on it that I will just wash by hand. And, you know, if someone's looking that closely to see if you're missing beads, then they're not enjoying the overall look of this gorgeous dress, but I didn't see any rips or tears in it. So I'm pretty excited about that one. The comps on that, all over the place. Um, but for a lot of that style, like 80 and up. So I'll take it. This is just a boutique brand, Rusty Dusty. 
It's a size 3XL Modern Bohemia Crush. The Anyway, this is a velvet velour dress and in this rusty color, kind of a, just like a little shift dress, has some lace, fun balloon sleeves. So not great for this season, but I honestly will pick up new with tag stuff, even, and a cute style like that where I can use terms like, ow, <laughs> boho and those type of things. Woo. Um, I will do it. All right, this is a new day, which is Target 24, W stretch pants, um, women's pants, and I uh, grabbed them because they were new with tags. So they are an ankle pant. They don't have the MSRP on there, but it's just a Target pair of pants in a plus size and a cute orange color. So I think those will do great in the fall. That's like. Um, pumpkin patch slash like Thanksgiving. So cute. This is just more Reese's. Um, it retail for $34.90, but it's a cute top and it's a size large. It's a lace floral top. It's kind of like a burnout velvet with these fun wide sleeves that are semi sheer. The body is lined. So just a pretty top. I, I was just grabbing at straws for part of the day. This is just a Nordstrom house brand dress. If I can find the tag, I'll tell you. Um, Socialite, which is a junior's brand, size medium. It only retailed for $55 and it was on sale for $32. But it's just a slip dress. So I think I can use the right keywords. It's got a tan underlay. Kind of has a flapper style look to it, so I might use those keywords. Um, it does sort of have that look at the bottom it is a floral lace overlay and it crosses over in the back so i'm not doing it super what am i doing <laughs> okay there we go super justice but that's what it looks like so anyway it'll be easy to list i'll throw it on my body form this i grabbed new with tags <laughs> um it is simply vera which is vera wang from kohl's they're a size medium, new with tags, retail for $42. However, Kohl's is always having a 75% off sale in my mind. Um, they're like a suede, faux suede legging in black. So I grabbed them and I also found a pair in brown. So I'm just gonna lock them together and sell them as a pair. They weigh hardly anything. This is Banana Republic Merino Wool sweater in this pretty lavender color. It's a size large. I didn't see any holes or stains on it. It's a lightweight sweater. I like lightweight sweaters like this because you don't feel like you're, you can layer it under a coat and not feel like you're going to suffocate. Um, it is from 2019. So it's a bit of an older piece, but not horrible. This pair of Levi 501s, men's jeans, 34.30. Now, when I was a kid, I would buy 501s as well, but the women, it, my women's sizes were not like a 10, 12. They were like, I got 32, 30s. I used to have a 32 inch waist or 32, 34 long legs. Um, so I don't know if they, if I was buying men's jeans, I'm certain they were women's, but they were 30, had a waist and a length inseam. So maybe that was just for a short time in the nineties. I don't know. Anyway, these are men's size, what did I say, 3430 button fly 501s. And let me see if I can find a date on here. I will have to put it on the screen because honestly, I can't, my old lady eyes, I just turned 46, can't see the print on here. Um, and so I'll have to look it up. I'll set those aside and I'll put on the screen what the date is for those. This is the brand Bloom Chic, which is a like Instagram 
influencer type brand where you just they would send a bunch of free things to people and they would do a try on they do only have um sizes 10 through 30 so more of an extended size and up or and below up to 10. um you know it's not the highest quality but it's a cute style so this is a size 26 kind of house dressy looking has a flutter sleeve, some fun browns and pink colors. It's a midi length, I'd say. And definitely a boho, cottagecore look to it. But it's a super lightweight fabric. Um, where's the other one? I got two, both in the same size. They're not going to resell for a lot, so I thought I might just lot them together because they're kind of the same style and the same size. And new with tags. So this is the other one. Definitely kind of both similar boho. This is more of a below the knee or at knee length and cute style. This is just a pair of like summer shorts for me. Okay. So I found this pair of cotton, like men's pajama pant inspired bottoms with cute stars on them. And they're airy size extra large. So I grabbed them for myself. Um, I've discovered that I don't like wearing leggings anymore. It's like too much energy to put them on. I like sweatpants. I mean, I wear pants during the day, but like just to lounge around in. Leggings are not for me anymore. Uh, so, and I think that came from when I injured my shoulder. It was really hard for me to like get dressed. So anyway, um, I grabbed these. They're super cute. They have a velvet tie. And then in the same bin, I found the same style and everything because it has the same velvet belt um soft flannel blue and white striped wide leg pajama pants i don't know if they came in a set of two also an extra large so i'm like sweet i scored myself two more pair of pajama bottoms happy about that then <laughs> i found the exact same exact same set for size extra large in another bin so I don't know if someone did some sort of family photo shoot or what the dealio was or if they just bought two sets, but I'm going to sell one and keep the other. Airy stuff kind of does okay for me, so I was happy to pick those up. This is Maeve, which is an anthropology brand, size small. It doesn't say by anthropology or for anthropology on there. I assume it's an older piece, but I liked this. It's like a brownish gray color. Um, and they're not polka dots. They're like a rectangle, I guess. Um, but it's a blouse. And then it has this button detail on the sleeve. And then the sleeve is sort of open and drapey. So I did go ahead and grab it. Do I have a lot of anthropology pieces in my closet just sitting there? Probably. I did just send out like 349 offers on Poshmark yesterday for 50% off with discount ship. And I made like seven sales. That's fine by me. That was old inventory, but honestly, I just want some stuff to move out because I haven't been listing a ton and I'm still making a profit. So works for me. This is an interesting piece. This is Venus, which is a historically like resort, beachy wear, swimwear line. It's a size small, but it's this faux suede jacket with this lace overlay. So definitely giving like Stevie Nicks vibes or Peter Pan, but Stevie Nicks, um, romantic Victorian kind of rocker girl look to it. Definitely artsy. So there's a lot of keywords I can use for that. And I thought I would grab it just cause I thought the style was pretty cool. This is Bowden size US eight a lightweight little cardigan sweater with a sweet embroidery and kind of beaded on the front beaded look. I did not look over all the beads while I was there, but everything seemed to be intact. And <clears throat> this is a cotton rayon or I'm sorry, cotton nylon silk blend. I kind of figured it probably had silk in it. A lot of their little sweaters do just a darling little sweater. So I did go ahead and grab it. This is Levi's size large, 100% cotton, 
just a men's button front shirt, crisp cotton. Definitely has like a Western look to it, but also sort of a 90s Y2K look for it as well. This is cute. Renee kept running over. Her cart was overflowing. She and her husband were like a good team. Their cart was so organized when they were, I was getting ready to leave and they were folding everything up and sorting it nicely because she was dividing stuff up. She was going to do a Poshmark show and I was just thinking I'm going to heft all this stuff in the back of my van and hope for the best, but she kept running stuff over to me that she wasn't going to take, but just wanted to see if I wanted it, which was super sweet. Um, she handed this to me and it's new with tags. And so I did grab it. It's a size extra small. The brand is Pieces, which I think is sold at ASOS and other kind of fast fashion boutique brands. It is a, I'm going to say it's a midi maxi length. It is smocked here and at the shoulder. It kind of has like a darker cottage core look to it, but I also feel like you could be Wednesday Adams or the Adams family in this sort of a gothic goth look to it as well. So I think it'll look cute on my body form. So thanks Renee for that. Here's the other pair of Vera Bradley pants that I'm just gonna lock together with those black ones. So they're just a brown suede one. This is UMG again. It's a tan and navy like boomerang print, <laughs> bird's eye print uh, blouse. It has this ruffle three quarter length sleeve with a tie. So just a cute lightweight blouse. I prefer listing tops and shoes over pants. This is She and Sky which I see at like Ross and TJ Maxx. It should, but it's cute. It's just a mini dress, heavily, um, not heavily embroidered, heavily like a burnout, heavy burnout, vintage. What is wrong with me? Velour velvet burnout floral dress. It is lined. So it's cute, cute halter style back. So, or racer back, I mean. This should do pretty well. It's Jay McLaughlin size extra large no yes sweater cardigan it's got a fun fringe at the top chunky buttons long line like a marled blue color and it is made out of something i wish i could read that <laughs> lord help me Okay, set for fifty five percent cotton, forty five percent. The heck does that say? I literally cannot read it. Let me see if I can put my flashlight on it. Modal, good gravy. I thought it said mohair, but that didn't seem right. So anyway, it's a very nice, um, not itchy, wool-free sweater that is a longer line. Oops. And I think it will do real well. Maybe not today, but at some point. Okay, this is a super cute bag. It's like a woven uh, bag with these bamboo style handles. And then it does have a crossbody or shoulder bag style to it. It snaps open. I found this in a super well picked over bin. I don't know why no one grabbed it, but it's free people. And it is made out of, it is paper. Let's see. The shell is a paper, woven paper, and then it has um, a polyester lining. So anyway, the, it was pretty clean on the inside. I didn't see any major like damage. I wasn't sure why someone didn't grab it. Definitely has a beachy grandma coastal grandma kind of look to it beachy boho so i saw comps on those for like 25 and up so i'm gonna take it let's do the shoes so i get them out of the way <laughs> i have another bag to show you this is the brand cob hill rockport cob hill collection it's a booty the shoes were super well picked over i only got three pair but it's a fun teal booty with some a burnished toe and I will use a little uh, Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam on there. But it has a brown kind of buckle detail, some gathering or ruching. 
They're a size 11 and they are a leather upper and they're the fun teal color. Has a faux stacked wood heel, Rockport comfort booty. I think those are fun. Some artsy little lady will wear those. These are just a pair of red Mary Jane sort of looking, not Mary Jane, ballet slip on with a slight heel to them. Um, I grabbed them because I saw this logo right there. Um, Ariat. I went ahead and picked them up. The lining was in good condition and I can't tell you what size they are right now because I can't read it. It's too dark, but the Goodwill wanted $9.99 for these. Um, the comps on them were like 25 to 30, maybe they're in good condition, but I wouldn't have paid $9.99 probably. So I think they're a size 10, but that could be a lie. And I honest to God can't read it. So we'll, it'll just be a mystery for now. And then the last pair I got, it's a pair of Toms, which I've kind of stopped picking up, but these are super cute. They're a... Uh, women's size 10 and they are a like mule slip on slide with this shearling liner but they look brand new like I mean maybe worn once outside in super nice condition and so this style seemed to be doing okay um, so I did go ahead and pick them up but, okay this is a Rolling Stones t-shirt size small and it's just a fun graphic. It's worn, but I'm gonna sell it anyway. It has the fun kind of psychedelic uh, flower looking things on the lips or on the tongue there and the mouth. So I grabbed it. This is Torrid uh, size three X, which I should have given this to Renee because she was doing a plus size show but by the time I knew that it was already way down in my cart and I forgot about it till I got home and I thought oh poop but it's got this fun smocked top on it um flowy tank so I just grabbed it because I like picking up toward she found a bunch of toward that day this is a jean jacket denim jacket by BDG uh, urban outfitter size small it is a men's size jacket but it seems cropped, does it not? Um, maybe it's a cropped men's jacket, but it buttons like a men's. So I'll look up the style number and figure that one out. Okay, this is a beautiful skirt. If I can find the top of it. The brand is Tibby, size four. I'm not sure if I've ever found this uh, brand before, but it's a beautiful tiered skirt that does tie at the waist. It's not tied. It's hundred percent silk. Really love this pattern. And so it was excited to find that. <laughs> this brand. Okay. So I bought this and I thought, Oh, maybe this is something. The tag looked interesting. Jay Brooks, but then I said boutique. That kind of threw me cause it's like putting couture on there. It like probably means it's not, but it's an interesting top and it was um, designed in the USA made in China. I grabbed it. It's nothing. I'll be redonating it. But so, I have no cell phone service and the people in there are talking on their phones, but like I get hardly any cell phone service. This is um, Quince, which is one of those, again, online sort of influenced brands, but it's a hundred percent cashmere sweater. It has pilling. Um, I'm not selling it. I'm going to take off a few of the pills and put it in my um, fiber box for upcycling and repurposing and crafting. And I said, oh great, that'll be perfect. Renee had handed it to me and I said, I'll put it in. She's like, I know you do those boxes. So thank you very much again. Okay, this is cute. This is like a shacket by Banana Republic, petite size medium. You know, that doesn't have a lot going for it, but the jacket does. It's definitely shacket style kind of a Sherpa teddy bear um, texture to it. Real cute tan color. And it is from, I think 2021. So it's relatively new. Let's see. Yeah, 2021. So I'm sure shackets will still be in. Can't imagine they're not. Okay, I used to have everything mixed in here. This is just one of those like Serape blanket 
bag backpacks. This one doesn't have a brand, but it'll still sell. Um, it's just a cinch backpack. Perfect for the hippie boho kind of look to it. Um, and so I did grab the, the, that. Um, this is adorable. I think this looks vintage, but it might not be. It is uh, a little prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep. Pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I die before I wake, pray the soul, Lord my soul to take. And it has a kangaroo, a duck, an elephant, an owl, a frog. Just a really cute cross stitch. I think this would be adorable. This is, um, it does say when it was made. So number 02014 made expressly for the American home by Paragon, 100% linen. So anyway, this would be cute framed in a baby's nursery um, and just super adorable. This is Chico's Zenergy, which isn't my favorite Chico's, let alone in a size one, which is a size um, medium. But I thought this was a cute jacket. It's kind of, it's vented. It's got three quarter length sleeves, a little hint of animal zebra print there. Um, and then it zips up the front. So I did go ahead and grab it. This is Natural Life, which is a just a catalog brand, but it is sold in some stores. Large, extra large. It is a pull-on, like jumpsuit, and they make them. This one's nice and lightweight, honestly. I might keep it. I have a couple, but they make the bottoms kind of a raw hem. Oh, excuse me. Um, they're a real wide leg. They look like you're wearing a dress, but you can cut them to length. So, um, if you're shorter, you can cut them so they're not dragging on the ground. I, that might be in the Trish Brown. This is Can Can, hit or miss for me. These are a size 27, but they're a 90s boyfriend cut. So I thought that was a fun style. It's got like a grungier look down the front and kind of a straight leg, even a bit of a boot cut, but more of a straight raw hem. So definitely a cute style, not just a skinny jean. So I went for it. This is just a pair of knit um, fingerless gloves or mittens, which I adore. They're for me. Do I need any more? No. I think they're probably like artisan made. The tag kind of looked like it was probably from someone's little, you know, Etsy shop or something like that. So super soft, could be acrylic, could be something else. It's a mystery, but they're for me. <clears throat> This is fun. This is a, a travel bag based on the internet. A gauzy cotton travel bag that you can cinch shut. And you'll see there it says Saison on it. The only Saison item I've ever found was a scarf at the bins. And it had so many likes and people wanting it. <laughs> it was a beautiful silk scarf. But I also found like a kid's Saison sweater. Or maybe it was an adult, but it had been shrunken into this tiny little thing. So these are selling, you know, 18 to 20. Maybe I'll keep it for myself for traveling. And I'll show you one more item and then my, you'll be like, why did you buy that Trish kind of item? This is the brand Blanco. It's like I've sold this before. It's just like a hippie boutique brand for all I know. Um, I'm not sure where it's sold. Made in Peru, 100% cotton. Size small, did I say that? It is a halter style like top swim cover up or tank top has a crochet bodice smocked waist and then it goes out has a lace trim at the bottom has a fun hippie kind of boho beading so this would be super cute to wear over swim or with jean shorts at a festival thanks so much for watching i super appreciate it thanks again renee and your husband you guys are super sweet and i wish you the best of luck at the bins maybe we'll run into each other again thanks so much for watching we'll see you next time take care